Uh, the team that'll be our biggest rivals in the Rugby World Cup would probably be Argentina. I think, you know, from the 2015 World Cup, um, they knocked us out of the quarterfinals. Um, and there's there's history from the, I think, the 07 World Cup, uh, where they also beat us in, in the pool stages. So, um, yeah, I think there's a bit of history in World Cups between Ireland and Argentina. We've prepared to play in Tokyo by having a warm weather training camp in Portugal um, to obviously mimic the conditions that we'll be playing in. Tokyo will differ um, in many ways from, from other World Cups. I think we're traveling uh, on uh, the bullet trains between cities as opposed to flying, so or driving on buses like we did in the last World Cup. So yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a different experience for us. Putting on the Irish jersey is uh, an incredibly special feeling. It's it's hard to describe. Um, you know, from when you're a kid, uh, when I was a kid, and um, when every player I suppose was a kid, they dreamed of playing for their country. So it's a really special feeling, and it's kind of hard to describe in ways. But um, I think once you do it for the first time, uh, it's almost like an addiction. Then you just want to keep doing it. Three words that sum up uh, our prep for the Rugby World Cup, probably passion, um, intense and uh, focus. A player that I most respect uh, in the World Cup probably be Alan Wynne-Jones. I think um, you know he's a key leader for, for the Welsh. Um, any player that has played in, in two World Cups and going into their third is um, an established and an incredible um, pro. So I think, uh, I, I know there's, there's lots of players that are doing going into their third World Cup, but I think um, he stands out as one. Most amazing moment I've seen the pitch would be probably bringing it back to Johnny Sexton's drop goal against France uh, in the Six Nations. I think, um, you know, such skill to do it under under that amount of pressure, um, you know, for anyone, anyone who's seen it, like knows, like how how intense that environment was, and you know how we had like literally one shot to, to pull it off, and I suppose that that led into our Six Nations and, and our Grand Slam uh, win in, in the competition. My proudest rugby moment uh, would be my first cap when I earned that in um, Houston. Texas um, and probably having my parents there in the stadium was was pretty special because um, I knew um, a lot of parents didn't travel to on that tour so um, to have them there was was special I think that's probably the standout moment. Mm -hmm.